Greetings, flesh wound horror freaks, and welcome to another There's Always Room for Jallo Elimination Tournament Round. I am Daniel Shine. That's producer Todd Loya. What's up? Pugs Dread. Hello. And Mike Kruger. What's up, you sick motherfuckers? Uh, so before we get into things, be sure to check out the all-new revamped fleshwoundfeatures.com. Todd did a very good job on that, so give Todd a round of applause. Uh, it's looking really cool now. I don't need to be stroked off. Just come on. <laughs> I'm Take a bow, there. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, so, uh, Kruger, explain to the good folks how this thing works. So what we do for our Jallo special is rate and review a Jallo, then we add the film to a list compiled from our previous episodes and eliminate one film we deem unworthy, leaving us with our top three Jally. So now that that's out of the way, Todd, why don't you give us our Jallo statistics and tell us who's on the list and who has already been eliminated? All right, thanks, Kruger. So up for elimination. Um, well, so far we have eliminated Murder Rock, Eyeball, Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key, the house with laughing windows and most recent elimination. What have you done to Solange now? So up for elimination now is, well, these have been the three to beat Bay of blood, delirium photos of Gloria opera. And up today, the blood stained butterfly. Dan, why don't you tell us a little about it? Yeah, absolutely. So the butter, the blood stained butterfly is a 1971 film from director, uh, Ducia Tassari, and this one follows. Uh, when a young female student is savagely killed in a park during a thunderstorm, the culprit seems obvious. TV sports personality Alessandro Marchi, uh, uh, who, who is seen fleeing from the scene of the crime by numerous eyewitnesses. The evidence against him is damning, but is it all too convenient? And when the killer strikes again while Mark G is in custody, it quickly becomes apparent that there is more to the case than meets the eye. Uh, so, but Bloodstained Butterfly is a really good uh, example of... Uh, it's not a sleazy giallo. It's not uh, a gory giallo. But it actually is one of the better uh, just straight mystery ones and it really makes sense there's a lot of uh other giallos and and uh even people that love giallos will admit there are times where certain things don't quite add up or make sense uh and uh, all the time <laughs> all, all, all very often yes uh this one's remarkably well written and it makes sense which is a good thing um a lot of the forensic stuff which you can kind of tell was you know probably felt like very uh, uh, exciting and, and modern at this time now is pretty dated. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of like CSI <laughs> type, you know, stuff that was, uh, you know, still being developed at the time. Uh, it's storyline based. It's light on, on the, the murders and the sleaze. Um, I mean, it's there like a little bit, but it, it's very, it's not like shown. Um, and I want to, I want to talk actually a little bit about the director uh, who, Tassari's not a name that, that gets floated around a lot. Uh, he's actually a little bit more known for spaghetti westerns. He did the the great uh, pistol for Ringo and Return of Ringo, which are also on Blu-ray. If you're fans of that, uh, he suffered uh, Klaus Kinski in The Bastard. Um, and uh, yeah, a, a very good director. Uh, his big claim to fame is being an uncredited co-writer on Sergio Leone's uh, Fistful of Dollars, which, of course, is a uh, big landmark Western. Uh, so, yeah, I like this one a lot. I think this is a fantastic movie. Helmut Berger, of course, another uh, man of uh, so many classic Euro films, uh, does a great job, and uh, it's a very uh, emotional ending. Uh, I I like this one a lot. Like I said, we've reviewed a lot. of This is not the style of a, a delirium. This is very different. Uh, Kruger, what did you think of The Bloodstained Butterfly? Well, I'll say it has a really good soundtrack and it's shot well, but that's about where all my good words are going to fucking end. Uh, this movie bored the living fucking shit out of me. Uh, I'm primarily a guy who watches horror movies. So obviously this wasn't going to 
I was not the audience for this whatsoever. Um, the story like is good, but I just the way it's told, uh, I wasn't a fan of. Like, I felt like we spent like so, like the way it's unfolded in the courtroom and all that stuff. It just wasn't working for me. Uh, the characters I found very unlikable. There wasn't anybody I could get behind really. Um, maybe for other people, but I was just I I was honestly just really disappointed in the fact that like all the kill sequences we got just were so tame and compared to like other shit we've seen with shallows you know uh, i've i was really hoping you know to be more entertained in the horror aspects of it um it does pull itself together though a little bit for me in its final act because like it was a really good twist and uh it, it was pretty satisfying what we got at that point but because of everything that it took to get there, it really, really was like I wanted to turn it off a couple of times just because I was just really bored compared to, I mean, the one we watched right before this was Salon. So, I mean, really crazy content. And then to go to this one, it just fell very flat for me. Yeah. I, I agree, actually, because all the shit that we've watched up to now was like, very engaging and i love a good courtroom drama but there was some too much other shit going on there too because like i i'm i i felt it drag a little too i was kind of bored and I'm, i was clock watching and again there's no need to be fucking almost two goddamn hours it's a fucking little fucking yeah. ridiculous um th I, that being said the story is good but yeah i i i was uh uninterested at this at this point because of all the shit i've watched up until this part so that's a no for me dog what about you, Todd? <laughs> um, I like it a little more, and I, and I thought this is where we're going to start to get into a challenge of, because we're getting into like straight shallow, less more slashery, and there's going to be some of those throughout. And I wasn't sure everyone was going to react. This, this is a more well-regarded shallow too, but I do feel it's a it is paced a little slow, and that that running time could be tightened up by like 20 minutes that said i still like this one it's it's not in my top 10 but it, it's still one i do revisit quite often well often enough dan yeah no i i really like this film i mean it's kind of a I, I this is more or less how i thought it, it would go i, I kind of figured it, it wouldn't be everybody's uh cup of tea uh, this is definitely Glass of Jane more the straight, uh, <laughs> the straight mystery, but I do think it's, it's great. This one is quite well regarded. It's in a lot of top tens. Um, but the, the interesting thing about the Jalo genre is it does like summer a little more, uh, yeah, this feels slashery more like, for lack this feels, of a better word and yeah, it mm. felt more like a mystery than, than, than it was, like, yeah. an actual Jalo and a courtroom but, drama. You know. It was, you know. Yeah, no, it definitely it was. Um, so yeah, we that's why we have a good mix, I think, on this list. And obviously, we'll have more Jalo stuff later, but uh, uh, this is a different example, uh, for sure. Uh, so zero to five stars is the scale we rate on. Uh, Kruger, what say you? I'm a two out of five, just and that's off of my enjoyment level. Like I said, the stuff that may have been there should of you know dawned a higher rating but man just like the, this wasn't a fun ride for me and uh it's just not comparable to anything else i think we watched up until this point so two out of five for me hugs what do you rate this one i'm gonna be generous because like i i do think it's a good movie it's just wasn't for me at the time i'll be i'll go three out of five um i'm i'm actually i'm a three and a half i <sighs> I went back and forth between that and the four, but we have so many strong ones in this. I think uh, three and a half is a fair rating. Uh, I'm a four and a half. I love this one. Very different, but uh, I think it's a yeah. good example of a specific uh, style of shallow. Um, so, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, with that right. being said, Todd, well, what's getting yeah. the X? All right. Let's figure that out right now. Um, I kind of have a suspicion on this one, but all right. Up for elimination today, Bay of Blood, Delirium, Photos of Gloria, Opera, and now the Bloodstained Butterfly. 
Kruger, what are you eliminating? Shit, stain blood or fly. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Um, Kruger. Bugs. Well, he just went. So yeah, I said <laughs> bugs. That's fine. I can. Um, that's fine because I'll just double what Kruger said. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, I so I'm gonna I'll fight for this one. I know I'm gonna lose this one, but I'll fight for it anyways. I think this is a good representation for the list. It's almost hard to compare. I mean, obviously, I'm eliminating Delirium, but it's hard to really compare them because they're two totally different movies. You, it's hard to say one is better. It's just more a case you like one better. Um, but I don't know. I do think this one actually kind of belongs on the list. Delirium's a lot of fun. I don't know if it's really the best Jalo though. There's so better. There's there's better Bava Jalos too. It's just that one is just Lamberto. An example. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So I'm eliminating like, Delirium. That's yeah. To keep a theme, I'm going to eliminate Opera. So it doesn't matter again. And let's say Butterfly's <laughs> gone. Okay. All right. That doesn't take anything away from Bloodstain. I was say Bloodstain Valentine. It's a fucking song. Uh, Bloodstain it's good Butterfly. Title. It's it's yeah. it's good. It's just you got to be in the right mood for it for me anyway. It's not. Your I, think, I was just on a roll of having a lot of fun, and this one was a little more serious. I'm like, oh, like well, I want more fun. I think if you're like me and you're getting into Jalos because you want to see the slasher roots, this this one's not going to do it for you. Um, but I would agree with that. Yeah. 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 But all uh, right, and then Dan, want to tell everybody to like, share, and subscribe? Uh, yeah, well, we, yeah, before we, we get spoilers, uh, do we have spoilers? Uh, not okay. really, I don't, I, I don't think on this. I mean, we could tell you what no, happened. I don't. But why do that yeah, there, <laughs> on this one? Well, it's a good twist, yeah. Um, Okay, fuck it then. Did it? Did I do? <laughs> oh, well, like, share, subscribe. I thought I already did. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell on YouTube. It really helps us out. And uh, also patreoncom slash uh for uh, original, exclusive, early, uh, uncensored content. It all starts at a buck, and it really helps us out. So there's some different tiers uh, uh, that won't won't break your wallet. So please and thank you. Yep. Yes. And then follow us across all the other social media bullshits. And be sure to check out the new website, One Stop Shop. You can find everything. Uh, all of our links are there. So yep. please and thank you. So all with that right. being said, gentlemen, this is GTFO. Good night. Good night. Stay sick, motherfuckers. I'll see you in Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs>